We could all use some vitamin D after being cooped up inside because of the coronavirus pandemic, but make sure you're taking care of yourself and your kids in this extreme heat. That's the warning tonight. Our Carla Byron has more. The fish was not coming to the top of the water because the top of the water is too hot. It's too hot. Charles Blair and his family came out to Ottawa Park to enjoy nature and the sunshine. But with the intense heat, they made sure to come prepared. First thing is make sure that you have a cooler with some ice and some water um, and make sure that you stay hydrated. Sakaya Portia plays tennis, so she knows the importance of staying cool while being active. Get out before the sun is at its hottest, highest point. So um, for tennis practice, we get out at 9 a.m and um, we get the shaded court, you know, and we have water and like take free more frequent breaks. Experts say infants and children up to four years of age are at the greatest risk for heat related illness. Dressed infants and children in loose, lightweight, light colored clothing, stay cool with cool showers or baths, use sunscreen with at least 15 SPF rating, if your child shows symptoms of heat exhaustion, you should bring your child to a cool shaded place. Encourage them to drink cool fluids that contain salt like sports drinks and apply a cold wet towel or sponge to their skin. Blair and his family agree. Know your limit. Just knowing your body and knowing, OK, I have to take a drink, especially in sports. It's so competitive. We can forget that, <laughs> yeah. that we need to take a break. Oh, yeah. Carla Byron, WTOL 11.